All right, again, just showing that this is what we just got through doing. Now we're going to go to the next section, which is completing the square. Now remember, we're going to use the same equation. So x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Now, you want to add the 8 to the other side. Bring this down. Now remember to leave yourself a little space here, folks. All right, now remember what you're going to do is you're going to add b divided by 2 squared to both sides. Okay, so again, here is your b. So x squared minus 2x, half of b squared. So half of negative 2 is negative 1, and that's plus 1. And you're going to add that plus 1 over here. Now, remember, this part is x minus b over 2 squared. Okay? So whatever, whatever b over 2 was. So this is going to be x minus 1 squared equals 9. Remember, this is what we added together to get 9. Now, how do you... So you got a x minus 1 squared equals 9. All right, I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and I get x minus 1 equals plus or minus 3. Now, remember, you have two equations here. Let's come up here. You have x minus 1 equals positive 3, and x minus 1 equals negative 3. So we're going to add 1 to both sides, and x is equal to 4. Add 1 to both sides, and x is equal to negative 2. Now, remember... 4 and negative 2 is exactly what I got previously. That's exactly what I got previously. So you can go back and double check. 4 and negative 2, again, 4 and negative 2. So I'm on a good roll. The next thing I'm going to do is the quadratic formula. And we're going to go over that next.